Hello. All right, so I'm going to start off by saying I've made some creepy creations in the past, mostly around Halloween time. But because of the bits and bobs used from various items to make this, I gotta say this is hands down the creepiest one. And it's all because of Barbara Malin. <laughs> so let's get started. This began with me being inspired by a bones artist, which is someone who finds and processes bones to create art. But in my area of life, you don't just find a skull like the one needed on the ground or in a shop that's ethically sourced. So instead, I found this porcelain doll at the thrift store one day. And I may change her outfit, but today is just not that day. I did though rip her hair out. I hate every second of this. Oh my god. And her head off. <laughs> okay. And then this. I don't know if it was used as a light or just like light up. There is the button there, but I didn't put in any batteries because I didn't eat them. But the minute I saw this, I knew it would work like I needed it too. But it had to come apart as well. Okay. I'm a piranha. I kind of feel like I want to paint these white, just so there's somewhat of a distinction. I felt as though it all blended a little bit too well together, so I decided to paint the teeth a true white, which is with acrylic paint, instead of the off yellow that was already there. As for the eyes, I had been given this doll and told to have fun with it, do what I want with it, and that I did. I love the concept of the eyes closing and opening depending on the angle you had it at, so instead of just being eyes that were always open, they had a little bit more visual interest to them. Oh no. Okay. I have not watched enough Grey's Anatomy to do this. Alright, we're gonna with the big guns. It was a bitch to get out though. <laughs> okay. I don't know how that was able to get any creepier, but it did. Oh my god, come on. Worth it though. Okay. Yep, it got creepier. And creepier. Now, I don't know the anatomy. Jesus. So I hand sewed the T-Rex head onto the body, being sure that I could change out the outfit if I so choose to. I feel very weird about doing this, I won't lie. <coughs> That surprisingly took a lot more thread than I thought it was going to.
No. 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 Brought down the clothes so the next steps were easier to accomplish, and then prepared for the tongue, which I ordered a prank silicone tongue off of Amazon. I'm a piranha. So I've got an oversized paper clip that I want to, for lack of better words, clip. Which, oddly enough, is stretchy, so I, I know Barbara's tongue actually comes out longer, but this is the only one I could get my hands on. It's almost kind of cool that it actually stretches out. Have to do that. Because it is silicone and it's a wet looking one at that, I was having issues sticking things to it, which we will see later on. But for now, I figured the best way to keep it on Barbara in the way that it needed to be was to MacGyver a contraption to stab it into, like stab into the silicone and then stab into the body to keep it in place. I need to put this with this together. I used a thin metal wire to wrap each piece around itself of the paper clip. and then used a metal two-part epoxy to just keep them together. The wire helped to create something for the epoxy to stick to more, I guess, less evenly. And now we wait. Well, that is curing. I want to see if I can put these guys on. Ah! That's not working too well for me. Okay. That is so creepy. To secure the eyes on, I tried this a few different ways with hot glue, with the same metal epoxy that I used for the tongue contraption, and super glue. But the thing that actually works was E6000. I wouldn't recommend tossing this around like on the daily, but it has kept together as I continue to say these words. To fit the new contraption into the doll, I did need to pull out some of the current stuffing. and then I fed it in. <sighs> Moved it around a little bit to where I needed it to be and then placed some of the pre-existing stuffing back in to secure it even better. And I figured out that I wanted the screw hole from the T-Rex head as well as the seams from the tongue. I wanted them to be hidden, so I made some balls of moss. You could probably find something similar at the dollar store. I could not. So I brought out some hot glue, placed some loose moss on top of it, added more hot glue, and repeated until I had a ball of it.
I then placed it behind the tongue. Get any idea how much that stings? Ripped portions of it off in order to place it around the piece again, securing it with hot glue. Then I added her hair back on, again with hot glue, which by this point had some moss in it as well, which I thought was fitting, so I kept it. I did want to add more to this, and maybe someday I will, but I did want to see how different textures would look, such as mushrooms, different colors and textures of moss, but they seem to just outshine the creation, and she is so beautiful on her own. <laughs> but that is it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.